Knife heads. How's it going? Today I'm bringing you two beautiful pieces of jewelry. You think that would trip your trigger? I believe it will. Now this yellow is a lot brighter than the case Delrin. This is not a case. This is a bulldog. You see the two bull, uh, you see the two pit bulls right there locking up, fighting? I hope my phone shows them. This is Bulldog brand, hammered, <laughs> hammer forged, solid in Germany. I know you guys probably can't see that because I can barely see it. They got it real little. But look at that big blade. I want you to look at the edge grind on this. This is a canoe, full size canoe. Look at that pin blade. Look how fat that is. It's got the bulldog on it. The two dogs locking up, fighting. And it says Hammer Brand on it. This is a 2006. It's got the yellow Corlon handles, but I'm telling you, the, these handles are a lot brighter. They pop, pop better than the Case Corlon yellow handles. You hear that pop? Crazy. I like the way it. I like oh, me open that. I like the way a canoe fits in your hand. Look at. See, two fingers goes in the middle, and one up top, and one on the bottom. That feels good in your hand. You see, it's a 2006 Solid in Germany Bulldog brand Hammer Hammer Forged Canoe There ain't no gaps. This knife is mint condition. No blade rub. You see the blades about touch right there. But they ain't touching. So, uh, yeah, there's my first one. What do you guys think? Do you like a uh, solid in Germany? I think they make really good knives and they got really good steel.
you can see they got the they got brass liners they got stainless steel pins with the shield right there it's stainless steel too the blades are stainless steel this whole knife stainless steel All right, now the second one, I saved the best for last. This knife right here, I've had for a very long time. Well, I, I had this one for a very long time too. But this one, This one was one of my very first canoes I ever bought. I think it was, actually I think it was my second one. But when I seen it, I, I knew I had to pick this one up. I knew it. I got it on the second hand market. I did get it on the second hand market. But when you guys see it, it's going to blow your mind. Okay, and ready? Take a good walk around this. The person I bought this off of told me the handles is mammoth ivory. And I believe him because they look like mammoth. But ain't that a doll, baby? This knife here is, it is fine as wine come on this is a full size canoe I do have some uh, butter beams if you just want to see them the, the uh, tiny canoes I think that's the name of them. It's butter something. Something like that. I'll have to look. But anyways. I want you to hear the pop on this bad boy. You can hear that? One more time. Well, just one more time. Got that spear point, spear point blade. All your canoes has got that pretty much. Got a pin blade. Got fluted bolsters. Pinched bolsters. You just want to see the back springs? Look at that. That's what you call a doll baby right there now. Look at that. No stepping. It's all nice and smooth. I absolutely, positively dig this knife. I dig it. And this knife, 
this knife. This knife is a queen cutlery with D2 steel made in Titusville, Pennsylvania. And if I'm not mistaken, this knife was the early 2000s to mid 1990s. There's the queen stamp. I looked the I looked the stamps up, and I think that's the closest one to it, but I could be wrong. I will double check and I will let you know for sure but I think it's from the 1990s to the early 2000s hear that pop hear that pop mammoth ivory canoe one bad cat right here. Bad cat. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to get off here and I'm going to double check the tang stamp. And I'll probably make a little tiny short. And tell you guys the year of it. But if I don't, it'll be in this video. So, thank you guys. And y'all stay classy. You hear? Guys, I went back and double checked, and this was made between 1946 to 1950. I just thought I'd let you know. You guys stay classy. I love y'all. You hear?